Sounds great. Okay, going to the gym tomorrow morning. It's going to be wet still, right? Yes, it will. You might need that extra layer in the morning. A chilly start, but we're above freezing tomorrow morning. Okay. So this precipitation that's falling is all in the liquid type, and we've had some light rain amounts so far today. The rainfall totals have been mostly under a tenth of an inch or one tenth of an inch. Two hundreds there at Tyler Pounds. We've noticed in at the East Texas Regional Airport at five hundreds Jacksonville at only five hundreds in a trace in Nacogdoches and Lufkin. Roadways are wet, but road temperatures are warm and well above freezing, so we are not concerned about any sort of wintry weather, ice or sleet or even snow. None of that is expected with this batch of precipitation coming through. You do notice some steadier light to moderate rain coming through the Cherokee County area now. So along Highway 84 from Palestine, heading toward Rusk and then moving over toward Mount Enterprise, some steadier rain coming down here across the southern part of Cherokee County. We head over into Nacogdoches in Angelina County. You're getting a brief break for now, especially on the southern side, but there is still some steadier rain that's going to push in there shortly. Heading over to the Texas and Louisiana border, a couple of pockets of some yellow trying to show up at times across parts of Panola County, heading into parts of Shelby County. Also, there could be a brief patch or two of steadier rain that will push on through. And while we're getting a break for some areas, more will begin to fill back in from the west. You notice here, across Lindale, Mineola, up to near Gilmer, Pittsburgh, and Mount Pleasant along 271. There is still some steadier rain that continues to pass on through. It's cold outside for tonight, but temperatures are warm and above the freezing mark for us, and that's the key difference between uh, seeing any wintry weather or not. We have a layer of warmer air also moving through a couple of thousand feet up, which is going to help continue to keep the rainfall around and pretty much not change the temperature for the rest of tonight. We'll look at future cast and you'll notice here some light rain gradually begins to fill back in. So the rain's not over with yet. I think we still have to get through another 12 to almost 18 hours of it before it begins to decrease from the northwest to the southeast. This is 5 a.m. You'll notice a couple of showers that are coming through here in East Texas. 9 a.m. The rainfall begins to decrease as the cold front comes through. So as the front moves down to the southeast, we'll see the precipitation let up. However, in deep East Texas, it could linger just a little bit longer into the early afternoon. Clouds will be on the decrease and sunshine will be expected into tomorrow afternoon as we head into Thursday evening. That precipitation lets up and we're in for a cold start as we move into our Friday morning with a frost and a light freeze expected by then. Again, for tomorrow, the key is going to be temperatures above freezing, but rain likely in the morning. It starts to taper off by midday to early afternoon and a fair amount of sun for most areas as we get toward five o'clock tomorrow as temperatures will reach the upper 40s and near 50. Friday is going to be a beautiful day. 55 for the afternoon temperature Saturday up to 58, but more clouds move in on Saturday, which means a slight rain chance as we get into our Sunday with temperatures near 60 degrees. But next week, yes, warmer temperatures make their return. We'll be back to near 70 by next Wednesday and deep East Texas likely rain for you, not ending until late tomorrow morning or even into the early afternoon. But don't worry, everybody on Friday will enjoy the sunshine. Yes, we will. All right, Marcus, thank you. Sports right now.